Hello guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? Today I will be building Hachiawa's BF109 F4 drop in the markings of Hans jo Joachim Marcel in 148 scale. I picked this kit up fr cheaply from Hoys Moron in Buenos Aires. And the seller told me the decals were toast. They were, as you can see here, they are yellowed. But as you can see here, they are cracked. All of them, there's no possibility to salvage any of them. So I will be using a mix from a Hobby Boss 109G6 and decals from the Academy BF 109G2 G6 with markings for Marseille's aircraft. And the crosses, the upper crosses came from a sheet from extra decals, which I have, which I have too. The kit also comes with two resin wheels and alongside it there are they are the normal grey spruce together with the grey plastic wheels here you can see the kit is still sealed in the bag no pieces flinging inside the bag so yeah I will be making a start on this kit hopefully soon which I'm not very hopeful for because I have lots of things to do to for university I'm leaving to Mar del Plata this 19th and I will be back later. So yeah, maybe I will start it maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Or maybe when, I ha when I'm on the summer holidays in Argentina. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. guys it's a brand new day and with this it's a brand new update for the bf109 from hasuya in 148 scale as you can see i have painted the smaller parts the propellers nose cone cockpit cockpit floor a sun filter and exhaust the cockpit was painted rlm 66 the uh, uh, the sun filter and exhaust shields were painted in rlm 79 and the trim wheel and rudder pedals were painted in aluminium. The main landing gear were painted in RLM02. And the wheels were painted with a mix of black and RLM66. Now what I will be doing is to build up the propeller and, and the cockpit. And then I leave this for now until I come back from holidays. So take care and I'll see you in the next update. As you can see, I have started putting together the model. The first thing I did was to glue the propeller, the propeller blades and the nose cone together. I painted the assembly in white to represent the North African campaign. The cockpit was also put together, not many details. As you can see, still foot, foot pedals still trim wheel and the rest in RLM 66 and the fuselage was also filled has also had the the areas not corresponding to the F version filled which was filled with Lagotita CA glue now I plan to put together the cockpit and then I will start building the wings <music> So now that I have built up the fuselage, it's time to assemble the wings. As you can see here, I've painted the wheel wells in RLM2. And now I will, what I will be doing is to fill the gaps. One of the things that was told to, was said to me by the, the editor of Modern Madness was that if I wanted to keep having my articles published there, I should start filling the gaps of my models, so that's what I'm going to start doing now. Now I will be building the wings. I will first glue the radiator flaps, then I will glue the, the wings together, and then I will add the flaps proper and add the slats. 
that will take me some 30 minutes so I will be start doing that now and I will see you in the next update Now that the radiator flaps have been glued into place correctly, it is time to glue the wing halves together and then glue the lower wing, the wing to the fuselage. But before we are doing that, I will add the proper flaps to the to the wings and then I will be gluing the wings to the fuselage. Then it will be then it will be time to sand down the CA glue that I placed in the forward in the nose and in the low now in the lower part of the nose and then uh, tomorrow I will add the, once the the flaps are fully cleared I will be adding the horizontal stabilizers into place as you can see here I have finally finished assembling the airframe of the BF109 I thought I thought I, I would have a big gap in the area where the nose connects but there isn't any I've also filled all the areas that weren't weren't proper for the VF 109F and for the G for the G. I also filled here the seam of the low of the nose. You can see here that I glued the flaps on the down position and slats in the open position. The horizontal stabilizers were glued in a 90 degree angle. And the propeller shaft was glued in place because it would be impossible to have a moving propeller when I finish when I after I finish building the aircraft. I will leave the exhaust, the exhaust shields and the in, and the oil cooler intake for later assembly once the aircraft is fully painted and decaled or maybe fully painted only. And I will I will still I will keep building the aircraft in the coming days. So please stay with me and I'll see you in the next video. Well guys, as you can see I have painted the entire aircraft. The top surfaces were painted RLM79 which is Rebel 17 Africa Brown. The inner portion of the slats and flaps were painted RLM2. Wing tips were painted in white, RLM's, RLM I think it's 21, Rebel 05 matte white and the undersides were painted light blue, Rebel 49 light blue which is RLM 60, 65 which I also use for 76 and 78 the yellow part was painted with Rebel 15 matte yellow now the only thing remaining before the decals is the gloss coat and then I, I will apply the decals from Hobby Boss, Extra Decals and Academy. So take care and I'll see you in the next clip. As you can see I have added all the decals to the model, they came from several sources, mainly Extra Decal and Hobby Boss, also from Academy, from the 148 BF109 G2 G6 in JG27 service. The decals behaved perfectly and adhered beautifully to the model, they also conformed perfectly to the surface with some micro soil. Now I I did that yesterday, now it's time for a matte coat and then I will be adding the final the the main landing gear and the the propeller and then I and, and then I will add the the clear parts to and will be calling the build finished. So guys, here it is, the finished BF109 F4 drop from Hans Joachim Marseille in 148 scale from Haseawa. It was a painless kit to, to build, but I did have some issues here in the left left wing with a, a gap and nothing else. The kit was very good and although it's been superseded by the Edward offering, it's still a very worthy pickup. 
I use decals from Extra Decals, Academy, and what else? What else? What else? Extra Decals, Academy, and Hobby Boss for the side crosses. Now I will leave you with the final real pictures. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you you accompany me in the next project, which will be a Gloucester Meteor Mark One in Argentinian colors. I know the Gloucester Meteor One wasn't in Argentinian service, but I wanted to do a what if because the decals that came in the Tamiya kit were aren't very good. They they are a bit yellowed and they are from Vital Chrome, so I don't think they they will work. I tested one some months ago from the piece fifty one B from the Mustang free from Tamiya which had those decals and they broke upon contact with the water. So yeah, without further ado, here are the finished pictures of the kit. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.